Hi, I'm Donna Miller, and I'm going to show you how to fix some common problems that you might have with your Bluetooth on your iPad. So the first thing we're going to do is go to the Make It button. And once we're in the Make It, we're going to hit our Continue button. And this is on the iPad, so it's going to bring up our options to select our machine. But as we look at the options on the machine, our machine is not listed. So no matter how long you wait here, your option for your machine will not show up unless you fix this problem. So the first thing that you want to start is you want to go into your settings and we're going to look at the Bluetooth options in our settings. So I exited out of the Cricut Design Space app and now I'm going to go into the settings app. Your settings should look exactly like mine on your own iPad. So once you click into your settings here, you want to go down to the one that says Bluetooth. So now that I'm in my Bluetooth settings, I can see all of the devices that are connected or not connected to my iPad. So I see that it says my Cricut Maker is connected, but I'm just going to reconnect it just in case. So I'm going to click that little eye off to the side and I'm going to click the forget this device and forget device again. And I'm going to reconnect my Cricut Maker to my machine. So this method should fix most Bluetooth problems, but it will not fix all the Bluetooth problems. So please make sure that you watch to the end of the video because I'm going to show you another thing that could be wrong with your Bluetooth on your iPad. So please watch the, till the end of the video. So now you can toggle on and off your Bluetooth device or you can just wait a few seconds and the Bluetooth should discover your Cricut device, whether you have the Maker or an Explorer or the Joy machine. So you want to go ahead and click on your Cricut device, whatever it is. It will take just a few seconds and then it will ask you for the PIN number. So once that comes up, you're going to enter the PIN and the PIN number is 0000. zero, zero, zero. So now we're going to exit out of our settings and bring up our Cricut Design Space, hit the continue button, and our Cricut Maker is still not an option to select. So the Bluetooth was not the problem in this, although the Bluetooth can be the problem in different devices. So when you're switching between a Cricut Explorer and a Cricut Maker or a Cricut Joy and a Cricut Maker, you've got to make sure that you have the correct machine selected. If you don't have the correct machine selected, then no matter what you do, the Bluetooth will not show up on your options when you go to cut your material. So in order to fix this, you wanna to go to the top left screen and click on your initials to your profile. Once you click on that, you're going to select the top option, which is machine selection. You're going to click on that and you want to click on the machine that you're using at the time. I was previously cutting with my Cricut Explorer, but now I wanna cut with my Cricut Maker instead. So I'm going to need to select the Cricut Maker instead of the Cricut Explorer. So when you're switching around between machines a lot, you will need to check that you have the correct machine selected or this problem with your Bluetooth being connected but not being the option to select it will pop up on your iPad a lot. So now you can go ahead and click on the Make It button, click on the Continue button, and now your Cricut Maker or whatever Cricut device you are using will work on the machine. So I hope that this video helped you out and to help you troubleshoot on getting your Cricut device connected to your iPad so that you can cut. So if you enjoyed this video, please click the like button, hit subscribe, and don't forget to hit that bell so you don't miss out on anything. Mm -hmm.